equally proud to be Margaret Lee Thomas's lawyer. This whole case has been devastating for the supervisor, his family, his constituents, and all of Los Angeles. Today is a very, very sad day. As Dr. Ridley Thomas stated in court today, he deeply regrets that his actions caused anybody to question that he crossed the line. But as this case has also shown, Dr. Ridley Thomas's legacy is far stronger and far bigger than this case. He has spent 30 years devoted to helping protect, house, and defend the most vulnerable people in Los Angeles. And that legacy will last far beyond today. We respect the jury and we respect the court's decision today, but there are significant legal issues that will be addressed on appeal. We want to thank the hundreds of people who wrote letters in support of Mark Ridley Thomas for today's hearing, the many more who emailed and asked to lend a hand, and the dozens who showed up day in and day out to support Mark Ridley Thomas. Their contribution and their devotion mattered, and we appreciated it and we thank them. Thank you. Galia Amram, G A L I A A M R A N. Can you tell us? I am a partner at Morrison Forrester and Mark Ridley Thomas is lawyer. Can you tell us your best shot at the field, what the most significant issue was? Sinclair Ridley Thomas, and on behalf of the Ridley Thomas family, we are deeply disappointed in the current state of affairs related to proceedings in Mark Ridley Thomas's trial. We know Mark is a kind and loving husband, father, grandfather, brother, nephew, cousin, and uncle. We are honored to have Mark as a leader in our family as he continues to embody the principles of integrity, hard work, community uplift, intellect, and humility. We wish to extend our sincere gratitude to the broad-based support that has been and is being shown for Mark Ridley Thomas during this challenging time and we ask that you continue to support it. Thank you, and I have no further comments at this time. Thomas is one of the greatest public servants in the history of this state. The quality of his service manifests in shaping the lives of those precious ones. Here on the chocolate side of Los Angeles, you can ask any one of them. So it's a sad day, but our struggle continues. And I just want the world to know that Mark Ridley Thomas is my dear brother forever and that his integrity cannot be called into question by legal proceedings. And in fact, his witness, Reverend Johnson can take it. Come on up, brother. Come on up. Come on up. Let Reverend Johnson come. That his, his witness goes far beyond any particular legal judgment and it will continue. It is unfinished. When I'm talking about his character, I'm talking about his service, I'm talking about the quality of his heart, his mind and soul, and his record. 
just to say that this is a very sad day for so many of us, for the African American community and beyond in Los Angeles, and even beyond that, this is a time for grieving, but it is also a time to draw from the strength that Margaret Thomas has demonstrated, shared with us, embodied 30 years of public service, and beyond that, from his days at SCLC, the fact that he is the embodied man. We are celebrating today, or remembering today, the 60th anniversary of the March on Washington. And Margaret Lee Thomas represents the best of the intent of that march in terms of freedom, transformative politics, as well as affirmation of the value and worth of every human being. And nothing that took place in that court can take that away. Thank you.